what's up guys and welcome uh i'm zimmy and this is my very first let's play of crusader kings 2 um i'm super super excited ever since this game first came out i've been watching youtubers let's play this and and i've fallen in love with this game i i currently have like 700 hours on this game and that doesn't mean that i'm you know any you know particularly good at it uh but i definitely know a few things of what's going on and I'm just generally really, really excited to jump in and, and finally do a let's play for this game. Um, so let's go ahead and click start new. Um, and then I have other games going, but we're going to just start a brand new game. Um, and then I was thinking about the date. I don't know what date I want to go. And if you guys don't know, um, watching this, you know, let's play, maybe this is the very first time you've ever seen this game. Well, first off, this game is amazing. Okay. Um, it's a strategy game, un unlike a lot of other strategy games, where it also has implemented in it, implemented in it a lot of like role playing mechanics. But you'll you'll see that eventually. Anyway, so um, we're gonna go with early Middle Ages, just because I really like that time frame. I don't know if we will set out to do the entire time period, or you know what will go on, like you know play all the way to the end. Um, and then we can, of course, pick these characters right here, but I want to start a custom game. And then I have all of the DLCs enabled, um, besides, I think, maybe a few um, of, like, the like the armies that, like, stand around the world. I, I don't think I have all of those, but all of, like, the, the character looks and all of, like, the DLCs I have. Um, I will not be playing with Sunset Invasion because I really don't want Aztec people coming over and messing messing stuff up. But I don't even know if I'll actually even get that far. Um, so with this being my very first Let's Play, <clears throat> I was kind of thinking, you know, it'd be really cool maybe going over here to Malta and playing as a Count. Uh, or, yeah, a Count. Uh, and trying to maybe redo the entire... Uh, Roman Empire. I, I thought that that might be really, really cool. But what I usually always end up playing, and I don't know if you know if any of you CK players are out there, I usually always stay close to England. Like sometimes I might play in northern, you know, France, like Normandy, uh, Brittany. Uh, but usually I play in you know the UK. I don't know what it is, but it's just like that. Just seems like my little safe zone. So for this first let's play, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, but if this let's play does good, if you guys enjoy it, if you guys want to see more of this game after this let's play, I'm probably getting way ahead of myself. You know, as, as this series is going on, you know, make sure to comment down below what let's play, what region you guys like to play as, I guess, and what region maybe I should play as, um, you know, in a, in a, in a further let's play. I've never played as the Muslims, um, or like the North Africans, um, never really played as like the the indians or like the tribal people over here like the nomadics i've played a little bit as like the norse um but yeah i i usually just fall down over here to my to my little safe zone uh but for this game i think i'm gonna go with um lancaster i don't really know i think my main goal for this let's play is probably going to be to take over all of the British Isles and then maybe take about half of France or something I don't know we'll see how it goes I think my main objective is to take this lowly Earl and create the British Empire um, I don't that that may be too much for me I don't know um, I am playing on normal settings um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new ruler right now um, just randomize 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 this guy looks cool. We'll, we'll keep him. Kind of scraggly hair, nasty looking beard. I like that. All right. Uh, coat of arms. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll plain. We'll... White. Maybe. Blue. And red. And I always like this thing. I don't know why, but I always like throw that on there. I always, I don't know. I'm weird. All right. Next one, <clears throat> um, Edgar, Edgar Holter, um, the Holter family, I don't know, Mad Madoc, 
Madoc. I like that. I'm gonna keep that. Edgar uh, Madoc. The Ma uh, House of Madoc. I like that. That's cool. Um, and then, so, he's currently 16 years old. Um, we're gonna be starting the game with uh, two providences, I believe. We'll have Mest... Uh, West Moorland, and I don't even, uh, I'm, I'm I, I don't even know. That's usually like Lancaster, I don't know Lancaster's there. Um, so for this, we will, mm, I'm going to probably go with Tough Soldier, because that is going to bump up our age a little bit, but it's going to give us a little bit more dynamic of, uh, it's going to give us three Marshall, and that's really going to help us, I think. Um, and then these other traits, I'm not really even going to mess with those. I'm just going to close that out and we'll get traits as we go. Uh, health, fertility, all that stuff. That's perfectly fine. I'll marry. No problem. So we are going to play Edgar of Westmoreland. Well, his last name's Maddock though. That's really cool. I love that name. Oh man. You know, I kind of want to change like the, um, the thing, um, the shield, the house, uh, like the coat of arms or whatever. Uh, just because Madoc doesn't really seem to go well, you know, well with that. Like maybe some like some like some swords or shields or something like on that. That that, that would probably I don't know. Anyway, so that's pretty much all that we're looking at. Um, I already have some preset rules. I'm just gonna go with. Uh, basically, I think the only thing is Reapers do like um like the bubonic plague is historical. Um, my, epidemics is fewer because. For me, if you play on default, there's like an epidemic every freaking... It seems like constant, right? And even on fewer, it seems pretty constant. So I usually keep that to fewer. Sunset Invasion is off. And then I believe pretty much everything else is the same. Um, so yeah. Um, Iron Man is off, but I will not be using cheats. Um, I don't plan on doing... Um, shoot i don't plan on doing um like like uh, like loading in previous saves like if i die or something but if something happens if game footage gets corrupt if something like that happens i want to have the option to go back to a previous save so for that i am going to go with iron man mode off so let's go ahead and jump in settings are set at normal uh they're not you know easy very easy hard or anything like that it's just regular normal um, I'm not the greatest CK2 player, but I kind of have, you know, an idea of what's going on. So starting off, for just as a little explanation for any player who, or any viewer who has never played this game, CK2, once again, is an amazing game. Um, the game is, is, is completely a strategy game, right? Um, here's my character, Edgar of Westmoreland. I can get married, I can have kids, whenever I die... I will play as whoever my heir is, and I will continue the game. I will continue the game like that until I think like the year like fourteen something, like fourteen sixty or something, something crazy. Um, so these games are typically pretty lengthy. Um, and then as my character plays, as I go to battle, I'll get all sorts of special choices. I can I can earn traits, you know. Um, uh, get traits taken away. I can get good traits. I can get bad traits. People can like me. People can hate me. People can try to assassinate me. I can try to assassinate other people. It's really a very dynamic game, and that's a big reason why I think I love this game so much. Um, so this, uh, so let's just start off with just general management. A lot of the main core gameplay is probably not going to happen until the second episode. Um, and then again, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. Like, that's always my issue with Let's Plays. Do I make them an hour? Does really anyone want to watch for an hour? Do I, you know, I, I don't know. Do I make it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes? What, what's the good, what's the good cutoff point? I don't know. Different LPers are different, right? Um, but starting off, let's go and do just a bunch of general management. So for me, I'm gonna switch over to here because this one already has another slot. So I'm gonna change my capital over here. However, this does have more county tax, but only by a little bit. And eventually I could possibly build another castle to increase my troops and to increase the amount of money I'm getting. So I think this right here as a capital makes the most sense. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch that to that. We're going to put town focus. Well, we can't because we're not a duchy. Dang it. Forgot about that. Okay. So next is next. We need to find a wifey. Um, I currently have eight marshal. Maybe finding a wife with a little bit of steward, a little bit of marshal, a little bit of diplomacy. That's kind of what I need. I'm not really too worried about learning or intrigue right now. So let's see if I can find out. Ooh. Well, right there she is. I mean, she kind of hates me. She's Greek. Um, mastermind, theologian, or theogen, or whatever. Uh, charitable, diligent, ambitious, and lustful. I don't think ambitious is really going to hurt me too much because she's going to be my wife, right? Um, however, whenever my kids take the throne, if she has a kid that she prefers over the other one, then that could cause some issues. But, um... And then lustful, I mean, that's kind of good, kind of bad. It's kind of good because, you know, fertility goes up. But it's also kind of bad because she might bone another dude. And that would be no good. Um, she is 16. Her stats are really, really good. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the chance. I am going to lose some prestige with this, too. That's not going to be good. And I'm already low on prestige. But, you know what? We're going to we're gonna take that. We're, we're hopefully going to earn that back in the later years and some wars um okay so my chancellor is three that's not good because i need my chancellor for he's he's very important early game well he's important the entire game but uh what's he good at he's decent at religion so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change council position do it we're gonna make you the court chaplain there we go uh, nine. Nine is not really good. And then these little symbols, this little fist symbol, means that this guy, this dude right here, is a powerful vassal. I don't want to really mess with him. Um, so ideally, I don't want to take him out of that position. It wouldn't be like a game over scenario if I did. But I really ideally would not want to take him off of the council. I could move him, but I don't want to take him off the council. Oh, man, dude, he's a lot better at uh, being maybe a court chaplain. But I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to leave him there. Um, and then a point. Who do I have? Nine. That's not good enough. I'm going to go to find characters. Uh, join court. No one will join court. That leaves me with this wonderful individual right there. There you go. All right. So fabricate claim. I want you to... Fabricate a claim on Durham. Why not? Now I want you to train troops in my capital so I can get a boost to my levies so I can hopefully have an easier time invading someone. I want you to collect taxes in my capital. Uh, you, I mean, you're a spy master. You can literally do whatever the crap you want, man. I mean, you just keep scheming, bro. And then you can just hunt apostles because I will need more piety and our ambition okay so once again we're war focused we are a small earl who only has two providences i mean we're you know we're doing pretty good i mean we could have been we could have been this guy with only one so um we're doing we're doing pretty decent doing pretty decent so what we're going to want to do because we have a decent marshal because we're going to be going to a lot of wars we definitely want to add on war because that's going to allow us to duel people, which may come in very useful later on. Um, but it's also going to give us three martial and increase our personal combat to by 10, so up to 20. So we're going to go with war. And then for this, we definitely... Honestly, building a war chest might be pretty good right now. But at the same time, I don't have any kids. Um, I have a wife possibly coming to me so i'm gonna go with groom and heir so that will increase my fertility rate and then we will start the game off a little bit ruler unmarried yeah that should change uh court physician this guy's fine we don't i'm not really worried about the designated regent we have two commanders that's perfectly fine i've lost succession of course we don't have an heir and then we don't have an heir okay so another thing about this game is that you can, um, as you saw me do right here, um, I can pause it, I can play it, I can slow down the time, 
I can... Oh. Alright, well, give me one second. I'll speed up the time and show you how fast this 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 game can go. Uh, a name I can't pronounce, an Earl... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so we just got married. Awesome. Um, so whenever you get married, you can either get a bonus of gold or a bonus of prestige. I'm negative 177 prestige. I am making a decent amount of gold right now. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to say give us the prestige because we really, really need more prestige. Uh, peace be with you. Okay, yeah. He, her father pretty much, or her um, ward pretty much uh, accepted the marriage proposal. So yeah, so uh, if we bump the speed all the way up, that's how fast it can go. Uh, the lords of Northumbria have approved the institution of the levy shifted no noble obligation. Okay, so basically... I, as the king's vassal, will have to give him more levies but less money. That works for me. There we go. We'll keep it. We'll keep it there because that seems like the sweet spot. Uh, if we get into a war or something, we will probably slow it down. Uh, but I'm typically a faster player. I try to play uh, with with the speeds up high, especially towards the beginning when a lot of this stuff is happening super, super slow. I, I believe that's my wife. Yep, she arrived in the court. Bishop, no longer chancellor. Okay, yep. I arrived in the court. That's fine. Uh, Edgar, keeping the master. Oh, okay. So, um, the king has given me the prestigious um, award or title of master, master of the horse. So that's exciting. Uh, terrain is key to winning battles. Uh, if I focus my studies, I believe I can master the tactics of one of these types of terrain. Um, you know, honestly, I, you know, open field or flat terrain is probably going to be the best. Mountain expert. What are we currently looking at? Plains, 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 plains. Uh, Yeah, so most of the stuff, like, we're not going to really get into the mountains until we get up here. But I would say most of England is probably plains or farmlands or, yeah, something like that. So we're going to go with uh, flat terrain because that's mostly what we're going to be fighting on. My studies and training have taught me uh, the general tactics of flank, center... <laughs> but, but I can hardly master everything. Um, direct leader is always good because, you know, most of the times I like to have my leader in, right in the center. Um, flanker is good too. Uh, battlefield terrain master, that's really good for defense. Um, unpredictable trickster. I'm, I think I'm going to go with direct leader first. Uh, a large merchant caravan from a distant land arrives at your gate uh, at the gates of your stronghold their leader a jovial man of massive girth <laughs> pleads with you uh, in a strange accent uh, accent to grant uh, to grant them shelter from the elements for the night um you know if I do this it's gonna give me the option of getting a eunuch you know I'm gonna be honest with you maybe I'm gonna let him in because it might allow me to become gregarious. Um, look by the fire, regales, blah, 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 blah. His appetite seems insatiable, uh, but you don't wish to be a poor host. You order the servants to bring him a second serving. Tell us, tell us about Hindustan. Um, okay, yeah, so right here. Um, so basically the merchant caravan, he's so happy with me. I gave him 15 roasted ducks. He's absolutely... Just, I mean, he, he couldn't be happier. Um, he's giving me, or he offers to give me a servant who is also a eunuch, who is also, oh my God, really good at stewardship. Uh, that is very kind. I accept your gift. Absolutely. What really kind of sucks is that he's really good at stewardship. He's, he's pretty decent at, yeah, Marshall too. I mean, you know, so-so diplomacy, so-so intrigue, but... You know, I mean, oh my god, 22. That's fantastic. Uh, Midas touched. What kind of sucks, though, is that he's a eunuch, so I can't breed him with my people. <laughs> I can't get more out of him than, than what's already there. 
Uh, okay, if um, if my opinion ruled uh, the world, it would be much more chaotic, but a fun place. Okay, so arbitrary versus just. Just is going to give me stewardship, learning, arbitrary, I think might... Okay, yeah, see, if it would give me martial and intrigue... I would think about it, but it's going to make my vassals hate me. Just is going to make my vassals, well, some of my vassals, well, all my vassals like me. And then if they have the same trait, they're going to like me even more. Uh, and I'm going to get an up to my stewardship and learning. So we're going to go ahead and go with just, and we got it. Yes. Freaking awesome, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> A sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you are forced to make a dash for the privy. You got that diarrhea. Uh, okay, so the bishop is confident that my symptoms are not due to a serious industry or industry <laughs> illness. There we go. That's the word. Uh, if you have late start. Oh my God. See this medicine, like. I, see, I love this because it's just like like the medieval version of medicine. I don't know if they really did this, but I know that they had some really strange um, ideas of how medicine should be done, like the four humors um, and whatnot. Uh, the bishop kept you up late, <laughs> late for days, stargazing with him to reconnect with the moon. He said, "Yes," and uh, I'm I'm glad I hired him because that apparently really helped with my diarrhea it increased my health by one <laughs> so guys if you guys ever get got diarrhea see look i already feel better right i lost diarrhea so if you guys ever feel bad just go outside on a nice clear night and just you know stare at the stars really look at the moon because you're really just trying to reconnect with the moon you know what i mean that's what you're trying to do All right, so time is going by pretty slow. We currently have our diplomat trying to get um, a fabricated claim on Durham. That's good. Uh, first, just use my liege. That's a great idea. A monument. Um, a monument, you say? Um, you know what? This can sometimes end really badly, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shoot for it. This guy seems to like me pretty good. Ooh, I don't want to give him any more gold than that. Um, so be it surprising. Hopefully it's a statue of myself so I can gain prestige because I really, looking back on it, I kind of regret, you know, marrying who I married because my prestige has really took a tank. Okay, so he's going to offer me Marshall. I guess I'll accept that. I think, If nothing else, that should probably, hopefully, give me a little bit more prestige, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It gives me, like, 1.5 because I'm the Marshall of Northumbria. That's, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. So I'm gaining, like, 2.94. My piety is pretty low, though. Uh, your steward, mayor, whatever. Uh, Erd... Erdwolf uh, has collected a special teeth. Oh my God, you are you you are the man. Not only are you building a wonderful monument that will hopefully increase my prestige, but you also got me some extra gold. Man, you know, sometimes you just gotta love your uh, your your people, your counselors. Sometimes you gotta hate them too. Sometimes they may want to try to kill you, and you gotta you gotta you know put them in the place. Oh my god, he, he, he collected another special teeth? Seriously? Oh man, that guy's good. Okay, so upon the unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed. You notice the crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. Heck yeah. 
Oh my god, yes! Okay, I have no words. I can gain 200 prestige, and the mayor will like me. He'll be grateful. 15, he'll he'll like me for 15. Um, Or I can gain humble. Who wants humble? I mean, it, it does good for your piety, but who wants that? I have no words. I have no words. I shall bow in front of the crowd. Now I have 100 prestige, and that's really important. I need to get 100 piety. Uh, your steward has collected another special teeth. Oh my god, this man is this man is on fire. Oh my god. But okay, so I need to get a little bit more piety. And there is a special little way of doing that. Let me go to intrigue my decisions. Buy, an, uh, buy indulgence for my sins. I don't know what I've been sinning or how I've been sinning, but We've done it. Alright. Glory to God. 50 piety. Awesome. Amazing. How many titles does my liege have? Uh, York. He actually owns York. That is crazy. I'll tell you what. I really want to get that kid. But, at the same time, if I maybe click acquire a title. See, I've never really done this. I saw this a while ago, but I've never really done this. Ask Liege for a title. Um... <laughs> uh, my, my dear friend and vassal... <laughs> You are a bedrock of loyalty, the cornerstone of the realm. Truly, there is support for your claim in the Bible. I know that God will reward you in time. <laughs> I think that that's his nice way of saying no. You can just go screw off. Oh, man. That was worth doing, though. That was definitely worth doing. Okay, is... Okay, a son. Okay, so a son was born. It wasn't mine. At 42, your father-in-law, Doge Leon of Almifi, died clutching his heart. Oh god, that's that's terrible. Uh, the pope has died. A new pope has came. Bishop no longer court chaplain. Okay, so I need to get a new. This will work. Um, yeah, everybody can just keep doing what they're doing. Um, so that kind of sucks. So I'll have to get more prestige. But maybe it will turn out that he will give me what I want. Uh, how can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to my own? <laughs> uh, teach him about the center. He's never going to be in the center. Teach him about flat terrain. There we go. Uh, fearfully accepted my lessons. Awesome. Who can stand against me? I mean, whoever has more troops can. Okay. So. Living reinforcement. Since I came to Northumbria, we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. Um... They know that they're. They know that fame and fortune awaits. Uh, send a letter to my leech. Yeah. The steward <laughs> wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying for their taxes. Well, I mean, you know, if they're not paying for their taxes, because, I mean, we've okay. Look, we've already established that our steward is obviously knows exactly what he's doing he's an amazingly talented individual right so if he says that the peasants are paying their taxes who are we to disagree and if he thinks that hiring ruffians would be the better way of doing it i mean why why not anyway is as good <laughs> anyway is good as long as money is entering the treasury Yeah, see, I don't want to hinder him. 
you know, this is uh, Stuart Mayer uh, is hindered to hire uh, ruffians. Like, I don't want to hinder him. Give me my gold. Thank you. You know, Stuart, if there's anything that you need, okay? If there's anything you need, you just come to me. I got you. Uh, from a distant land has arrived at the gates of a stronghold, their leader... Okay, look, um, these peddlers <laughs> may sleep in the ditch for all I care. Because at this point, I don't need another eunuch. Which I'm pretty sure I do have a small chance of getting, like, a trade-off of that. Awesome! My child, or my wife, is pregnant. Excelente. Excelente. As I woke this morning, my hands and feet were bleeding. <laughs> there is a shirt pain in my side. What is happening to me? I don't know. Uh, it is it is a stigma. I'm blessed by God. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest with you. That would not be that bad. Other, you know, faith opinions would hate me, but they're kind of already going to hate me anyway. And it's not like I can really do a whole lot with them living in England. Um, one monthly piety. That's going to go a long way. Plus two Marshall, that is, that's, that's pretty huge. Um, or I can become cynical and, and get like intrigue and, and, and a bunch of negative penalties and possibly be stressed. We're going to go with Zealous. Uh, the pregnancy has made my wife much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses a chance to chat with anybody within earshot unfortunately most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child you know what lock my wife into the dungeons <laughs> no i'm not gonna do that that'd be mean um honestly i mean hmm well she's gonna lose two stewardship either way but i would rather her I mean, I know help. I know pregnancy can. She's not having a difficult pregnancy, so I think I'm going to let her have her fun. Why not? You know, you live your life. Your stewardship's gonna suck either way, so might as well have fun. Uh, being always so distracted might have prevented my wife from uh, taking a good rest. Uh, but all this talking with my vassals and servants. Uh, have had the unforeseen advantage of strengthening her relationship uh, with the people of my court. How fortuitous. Fancy, fancy. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. Yes, yeah, all that talking. <laughs> it really put a hamper on her, hasn't it? Uh, the burden of her unborn child is surely causing more humor unbalance. This is affecting her mood. I will buy her something nice. How much is... Okay, that's five gold, right? And then it's going to give me the chance of becoming charitable and a very small chance of becoming kind. Uh, and it's going to increase her health. And no, I'm sure she'll find does nothing but decrease my piety. So we'll go with that. I don't think I got anything. No, I didn't. You have a new heir. Um, okay, so we're going to rename our heir to something a little bit easier to read. Uh, Ainsworth. I don't even know that. Oh, God. Some of these names, like... <laughs> Godgifu? Godgifu. <laughs> Hung Hungifu? What are some of these names? Um. Oh God. Sengith. We'll, we'll we'll go with that. That. Okay. As is tradition, my wife, her name. I I'm really having a hard time with these names. Underwent uh, her churching after recovering uh, and clean and cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. You know, it's like cleansing herself from the recent pregnancy. I mean, come on. Uh, she felt much better. That's amazing. I'm happy for her. Her humors are rebalanced. Okay, so we got to pause real quick. Uh, Spymaster died. I don't know if he died or some. I don't know. He's no longer eligible. And then what's this? Uh, Chief something accepted. With all the arms in his war. Okay. 
doesn't really have anything to do with me because that's the king's war that's not my war i mean I'm, a, I'm technically a part of it i could help if i wanted to but why am i going to waste my troops on him i asked him for land and all he said was um i'm sure god will smile on you one day so uh you know what he might ask me for help in his war and i'll give him the same reply back i'm sure god will help you someday with that war um 15 although that 16 is looking mighty fine I'll give it to the eunuch that sounded so aggressive i will just give it to the eunuch um i am going to switch this up because this guy is a lot more talented um he hates me too send him gold a little bit of gold make him like me a little bit more fabric claim durham all right and so now I should have a 10% chance every year to get that instead of probably like a 7% chance or a 6% chance with that last guy that I had, which is going to be very, very more beneficial. Um, but because my Lord is at war and because I have enough piety and I have enough prestige, I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to take the land off of this poor child. So, do you have any alliances? Uh, diplomacy, defending, we can put it in there. Strong claim on the petty kingdom of Northumbria, county of Yorkdale. Yeah, so he doesn't really have anything that should bother me. He has like 200 troops. I definitely have more than that, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go to war with them. And then, so the way that war in this game works is a little bit weird. If, you know, once again, first time ever seeing this game. The way that war wor works is that typically you have to have a Caius Belly. And I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. What a Caius Belly is, is it's a reason to go to war. So, for instance, we want to take this young 12-year-old boy's land. I mean, it sounds so mean. But we want to. The, the, you know, we can use this land a lot better than he can, okay? I promise you that. So we go to declare war. And then we are going to have a bunch of different options of how we could declare war. The only way that we can declare war right now, because we don't have a Caius Belly, is to kind of just try to make one up that really has no legitimacy at all. And that's a border dispute. We can say, hey, we believe your land should be ours because you border us, right? And that's a really crappy reason. And because of that, we will lose 100 piety, 100 gold, and... Um, the Pope's opinion of us will change by minus negative for 20%. And then, um, yeah. And, and then, like, the people, I think, in in this uh, Earl's court will take, like a, like, a negative 15 opinion of us as well. So it's not very good. Ideally, we want to put our diplomat or our counselor or our chancellor into a land, fabricate a claim, pay for it, and then go to war with an actual claim on it. Because um, that's usually a lot better. But you know what? We want land. We have the piety. We have the gold. We have the prestige. And, well, I mean, and ultimately, we have the troops. So let's go to war. I'm going to slow this down. Oh, goodness. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. There we go. So we're fighting the good fight. We're fighting the good fight. We're winning the good fight. And let's just go ahead and merge all of our troops together. Our main guy is not leading our forces. Oh, he can't because he's marshalling right now. Yeah. That's okay. We'll have somebody else lead the forces. Excellent. Okay, so we have pretty much won that war. So we will offer peace. Uh, enforce demands. Absolutely. And we have just claimed another county. So now we have three counties. And because we just went through a war, which is, you know, not ideal. Um, and because we had to break down this castle walls... The garrison, they have no levies, right? Um, they have no garrison. So if we wanted to raise troops in this county, we could raise 15. 
which is not ideal because, you know, I mean, obviously here in my main county, I can raise um, 293, um, and whenever all of them are replenished fully, whenever we, you know, get those peasants back uh, and train them up, you know, because a lot of people died, well, some people died, um, we could get 308. Um, which here, you know, we could get 258, which is good, but we just can't right now. So we have to wait for this to build back up, and we will um, get more money. I mean, um, I think ultimately, yeah, the county tax here is not the greatest. I mean, plus we definitely just, you know, went to war with them. Um, and, and to begin with, I don't think it was actually very much better than, than the ones I already had. But... We definitely needed that land. It's going to help us a lot here in a few months, maybe a year. Whenever everything gets replenished. How long have I been recording for? Oh, 40 minutes. Well, I tell you what, right now I'm going to go ahead and probably end this Let's Play. Um, just because we are at 40 minutes, um, and I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to edit this down and make it not as long. Oh, shoot. But here, let me read this real quick and keep this paused. Uh, after I had, after I'd made another courtier cry, <laughs> the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people. I don't know. Is that who you are? You know what? Let's look at your stats. You're, you're zealous. Your your religious fervor fervor, you know, cannot you know be denied, right? So you're super religious. You're very just. You're a direct leader, and you're flat terrain expert. I mean, I don't really see how that goes with your personality, but you're just and you're really religious. No, you're a kind kind soul. Yes, and you really are a kind kind soul because. That's amazing. You just got the kind trait, uh, which is fantastic. Plus two diplomacy or intrigue is really plummeting. Um, vassal opinions better. Oh man, this is great. Okay, but anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. If you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you definitely want more Let's Plays. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do a lot more, you know, uh, episodes of Crusader Kings LP. Um, and then I have a lot of other games I like to play. So, you know, if you subscribe to this channel, it's not just going to be watching Crusader King um, Let's Plays all day long, every day a week. You know, um, it, it's going to be other games. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out, guys.